So a very short show specifically on Bitcoin for you. Um, I'm a Bitcoin maximalist with a small M, have been for about seven years. I think your M is probably bigger than mine, Baloo. So uh, the show will look at the chart and uh, just give you our thoughts on what's happening in, in the Bitcoin space in general. Uh, so take it away, sir. What's going on? Yeah, so... You know, the market's pretty lethargic right now. There's a lot of there's not a lot of demand. Um, but there's still a lot of innovation going on with Bitcoin on the fundamental side. I think a lot of people are sleeping on ordinals. I think there's a lot of potential with ordinals. And then the most recent um, you know, debate that's out there currently is BIP three hundred and BIP three hundred and one, which for those who don't know, which is probably most of us because nobody's paying attention right now is drive chains. And what drive chains do is it's basically a side chain, but you know, a side chain on Ethereum has its own consensus and its own nodes. A drive chain actually attaches to the consensus of uh, Bitcoin security. So it's kind of like merge mining with Bitcoin on a separate coin. So you get to have the Ethereums, you get to have the Dogecoin, you get to have the Matic, you get to have any any project that you like, Zcash for privacy, Monero, like any yep. altcoin that you want, you can now attach to Bitcoin security. It comes with a lot of contention and there's a lot of debate as to whether it's a good idea or not. Um, a lot of the community, well, you know, the community's in two camps and it seems though the drive chain community is is very much correlated with the uh, ordinals community, which wants to see innovation and change on Bitcoin. Um, and then there's the hardcore Bitcoin maximalists that want to just keep Bitcoin strictly for payments. And there's good arguments on both sides. Um so really quickly, I'm... you know, the, the, this channel is called Hard Forking. Mm -hmm. And the reason I called it that way back when, it seems like a eternity ago, was that people have the opportunity to take that open source code and hard fork it. And yeah. if more people think that's a better idea, then that chain just accumulates more users, more value. So exactly. are, are we seeing something similar here? I mean, we had this with Segwit uh, back in 2016, yeah. 2017. And most recently Bitcoin Taproot Cash. as well. Yeah. Um, so, so this show, by the way, people is kind of for the, the, the techies out there. Um, yeah, this is a little hardcore. technical. We'll get into the charts at the end and you can probably yeah. just skip ahead till you see my chart. But yeah. um, we'll get into the fundamentals a little deeper here because I, I am interested. I think this is quite fascinating. Yeah, there's a fascinating other and people. It, and it would drive a lot of, so let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it would drive a lot of demand yeah. for the Bitcoin price. So that's why I'm kind of diving into the fundamentals here. Um, But yeah, currently it's a BIP. It's a Bitcoin improvement proposal. And what that means with a Bitcoin improvement proposal is it's, you know, minor adjustments to the code. Sometimes they don't require a soft fork. Sometimes they do require a soft fork. And what a soft fork is, is basically a hard fork that everybody agrees on. Um, so we just continue down that path because everybody agrees on the fork uh, and the edits to the code base. It's backwards um, compatible. It's backwards well. compatible. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That's a more accurate definition. Um, the most recent soft fork that we had was Taproot. And what came out of Taproot was the ordinal space. So they can have a pretty profound effect. And not a lot of people can really realize the implications of these things. Um, nobody saw ordinals coming when we implemented Taproot. Uh, but with BIP 300 and 301, this is basically going to create an altcoin market that uses Bitcoin security, Bitcoin miners. Yeah. Miners are going to get fabulously wealthy because not only are they mining Bitcoin, but they can mine any other coin that they want. They can mine 10 coins at the same time without adding any more hash power, without adding any more equipment. They just 10x their profits. So it's going to be very That's good. That's because it's the same protocol. So if you own a yeah. mining rig, you can mine all the different versions. Of, of, yeah. of this coin so it's got huge huge incentives for uh miners and it has huge incentives for degenerates and traders yeah. and people who love altcoins so it's going to be very surprising to me if this bip doesn't go through um 
And I wouldn't be surprised if the hardcore Bitcoin maxis fork, but then you're not, you're not a hardcore Bitcoin maxi if you fork. My stance is this is an open protocol. It is a de de decentralized protocol. You don't always get your way. It yep. is just if you don't like it, fork it. If you don't like it, fork it yourself. But when we're talking about Bitcoin, any fork that's ever happened on Bitcoin has failed. And in my opinion, will continue to fail. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. But, you know, back to what I was saying, you can create all these altcoins. Um, so it's it's very interesting. And not a lot of people know that this is happening. Uh, not a lot of people are paying attention to the fundamentals in the space. But uh, yeah, it could have pretty profound effects. Now, my current TA on the situation doesn't doesn't reflect the future of drive chains. It reflects the current sentiment. Um, so I'll I'll share a chart with you and just kind of explain what I'm seeing here. And we'll start off with uh, Bitcoin here. On let's go to the three day. Now we're sitting on very very important support here. This is a, a huge support and resistance level. This is basically since the entire bear market started, since the all-time high, um, we managed to get above this key uh, resistance level and we're holding it as support. So that's good. That's good. You know, um, If we can continue to rally up in this direction, that would be fabulous. The problem is I don't see enough demand in the market currently. I think that retail isn't coming in. I don't see enough people talking about Bitcoin. I think that a lot of people are focusing, the people that are here are focusing their efforts elsewhere. They're trying to make a buck in altcoins. Nobody is actually buying Bitcoin. The only people that are buying Bitcoin are the smart institutions and the whales like BlackRock and you know Fidelity and all these other institutional it's players, but they're, <laughs> they're taking it over. They're, they're going to own the shit out of it, yeah. but they're doing it OTC. It's not hitting the books and it's not going yeah. to affect price. Um, not in a direct way, in an indirect way, it will affect price, but currently from the retail side, there's not a lot of demand. So that, that does make me worry because, um, with low demand means low momentum. And our current uh, indicator, you know, our, our custom indicator, Alpha New Metrics, um, has flashed a bearish signal. We have bearish momentum. So my current stance is that I'm short-term bearish. Until this can flip back above $31,000, I'm going to remain bearish, um, expecting lower levels as low as like $17,000. Um, I would love that to happen. I'm sure many people may not love that but i would absolutely love that if i could get another opportunity to collect sats at seventeen thousand. but um yeah it's i'm short term bearish and i am actually short our custom uh trading algorithm black box which we'll we'll link if you want are interested just go to blkbox.pro and sign up it's totally free just got to use it with our partnered exchanges you might, you, you might want to say that one more time because i think we've uh, currently got a ban on uh, external links for another couple of weeks so just remind oh, people okay. uh, how to find so it. the the url is b l k b o x blackbox dot pro okay and uh you can sign up for your free bitcoin trading bot the bot is currently short so that is also affecting my short-term bias. I'm bearish because the indicator is bearish. I'm also bearish because my algo is short right now. So there is the, the emotional point that, but we are sitting on support. So until we can break below this support, get a, a clean break below 24 seven, um, we can make a, a very feasible assessment or a very feasible assumption rather that we could hold this as support and, and extend to higher levels. Um, if we did get higher levels, we could go as high as 48.2. Um, but this is still bear market, in my opinion. When we zoom way out here and we look at kind of the BLX, I'm not, there's still quite a long time ahead of us before I'm convinced that uh, we're ready for an all time high break. And things really heat up after an all time high break. It's choppy. It's 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 tough for phase one, phase one of the bull market, which is below the all time high. Phase two is above the all time high. Phase one of the bull market is is slow, man. It's really, really slow. And we've still got, you know, actually, let me get a line here. 
a measured line from where we are right now we've still got probably 68 weeks left 476 days so over a year a, a year and a quarter um of sideways and up sideways and up it's not all doom and gloom i think the bottom's in um you know I don't think that we're going to go below 15.5 again. I'm calling for potentially somewhere around 20s. If we if we lose support, we can oh. also not lose support and just trade sideways. But I'm not expecting serious price acceleration until, you know, next late next year. But, you know, back to the fundamentals and back to potentially what's going on with drive chains. Um, it's huge. It's It's huge. If drive chains goes through... You're going to see a lot, not all, because people are diehard community supporters, but you're going to see a lot of liquidity from altcoins go to Bitcoin because there was always a trade-off. It was always, well, Bitcoin's too slow, Bitcoin does this, and, and we can do things on other chains. Well, now your other chain lives on top of Bitcoin. Mm. So those reasons are gone. Those, yeah. those excuses are gone. You yep. you have Bitcoin security in the form of an altcoin. Yep. So what's better than Ethereum? Ethereum with Bitcoin security. What's better than Monero? Monero with Bitcoin security. What's better than Matic? Matic with Bitcoin's security. So it's profound if this is pa past. I think it's going to be massive for the space and it's going to drive a shit ton of spot demand, which is what you need for price advance. Uh, mm. into bitcoin yeah i mean look i'm excited to hear this you know I've, I've, I've been sitting on the sidelines for for a couple of years now but you know anyone that's followed the channel uh but we'll, and and the previous website uh will know it was purely bitcoin uh you know the hope that this uh, i'd love to maybe do a, a weekly show just on bitcoin with you moving forward um you know we'll look at the uh, the the technicals but i think really sort of helping people find other resources because there's some very smart people in the space and you know it's amazing to me that some of the the better minds have a handful of people that watch their content but that's always been the case with bitcoin yeah. um but i i hear you i think we're, we're we're getting back to those sort of hard forking days of uh you know proper geek out debate uh yeah. that's what brought me into the space and it's great to see this these innovations happening we know we know these people. We'll get them on the channel. So yeah, let's do uh, you know a weekly Bitcoin only show. Um, and for the people that are smart enough to to follow that, I'd uh, love love to have you come along on this journey with us. Um, you know, for me, sparking that up again, mate, is uh, you've been the catalyst there. I've I've been so frustrated lately. It's just it's not not been a space. Well, not lately. The last three years. Uh, it gets boring watching people rip mm -hmm. other people off, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whereas this is, and I'm not saying that that's going to stop. You know, there's always charlatans out there, and and if drive chains goes through, there's definitely going to be scam coins. They're just going to be on Bitcoin. My <laughs> my point being that yeah. people need to understand the concept of of a hard fork, of a soft fork. Yeah, this is open yeah. source software. If you think you can do it better, go do it. And that's yeah. what brought me into the space. And here we go again. So, yeah. Game on. Let's do it. Game on. Exactly. On yeah. that note, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, the geeks, watch this show. It'll be Bitcoin only. Uh, and we'll do our best to educate and entertain uh, across a number of other areas moving forward. But uh, for now, it's very late here in, uh, in, uh, in Thailand, 11 o'clock p.m., where are you these days? Currently in Canada. Okay. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. There you go. Okay. Well, listen, uh, send us your questions, people. Uh, I'll attempt to put some links up, but look, you know, the net's closing on uh, on our ability to say too much across most platforms, but uh, there'll always be a way to fight the good fight. And we're here to do that. Cheers, yeah. everyone.